Hello everybody, I'm Enchanted Moon and welcome to my channel. Uh, don't mind my attire, I'm just a little comfortable. It's late, I got my robe, my pajamas on, just relaxing. And I wanted to share a box I got in the mail today. Um, it is got cute little stickers on it. Oh, I wanted to share those with you. Aren't they cute? We got a witch. And it looks like a potion bottle. And it's from Spiral Rain. Um, so we will, this is March's box. Now I usually get two boxes from Spiral Ring. Um, I subscribe to the Apothecary box and the Witch's box. She did a little something different, so I'm going to see how that works out in this box. So March's box is going to be... Two boxes are supposed to be in one, and that is a great way to save on um, the paper that she puts a lot of information in the in her boxes. So to get two of everything, it, it also saves that way as well. When we open it, it always says a little spark to align with the universe in uh, English and in French. And right on top, we have our paperwork. Instead of getting two. So I like it because you got the witch's box sticker here to show you that box. And the uh, potion bottles to show you the apothecary box. I love that idea. That is cool. And I notice it's in here as well. Which is pretty exciting if you ask me. Anyway. We have the beautiful paperwork for March. I will do this last because this contains the spoilers, but I wanted you to take a look at the cover. Very pretty. Very springy and fertile. Um, new beginnings. And then in the box I see we have the apothecary and the witch. I'm assuming they're like on sides the way they are here. So we will see. Yeah, I think that's the way they are. Cool. So we will start with the apothecary side. And I believe you save money this way too. I'm the first person I think who's getting this. So um, we will see what, it, what it's about. That's exciting being the first. So. First thing we have is dandelion. We got a black bag of dandelion. I don't know if it's leaf or root. Um, maybe the paperwork will tell us. Got a nice size bag of dandelion. I can't get this box to stay. Okay, perfect. We have, ooh, we got a big one this time. Green. Oh, and I love it doesn't have that horrible stuffing because that stuff gets everywhere primrose a big jar of primrose that one you can see what that's about mm, smells very good primrose very interesting that one i don't have so i'm excited to add that to my apothecary it's a big green jar too then we have another big jar of jasmine, another big green jar. And this is what jasmine looks like. It smells awesome as well. Mm, these are nice herbs for spring. And we got another big green one. And this one's birch. And that's a leaf. Mm. I love the smell of herbs. Love it. Okay. We also have on the apothecary side, we have this here. Feels like a stone. Um, ooh, it's a nice soap stone, but it looks like it's a candle holder, maybe. Or incense burner. I don't know if it would hold a candle or an incense, but it's like a soapstone. That's nice. 
Really nice. I like that. Very cool. We have an oil and it's tea tree. Tea tree oil, half ounce bottle. And we have, oh, two more items, I'm sorry. On um, the apothecary side. Ooh, cool. We have a stone and it says abundance on it. Mine's got like a little sparkle on it. I'm not sure what stone that is, but it's got a cool little sparkle to it. I like that. Nice. And the last item on this side, oh, it's heavy as well. Oh my goodness. Huge egg of soapstone. It looks like the same. Yeah. Wow. Very heavy. Soapstone egg. Nice colors. Perfect. Celebrate. Stora. All right. So I'm just going to put these back in here for now, and then we will do the paperwork and go over these items again. All right. So we got a lot of items on this side, that's for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. So that's nice. So it doesn't look like she took away any uh, of the quantity of items. And this is the witch's side. I hate to ruin the sticker because it's so cute. So we're gonna hopefully not. All right. Okay. So. Let's see. There is something in here. Have another stone. This one, I don't know which one this one is either, but it has a cute little bunny rabbit on it. That's cute. Like that. Another something something. We have Ostara Sabbath Collection Oil. All I can make out is it says, I'm sure it tells us the ingredients inside. So it looks like another half ounce bottle. It's like black. It's pretty cool looking actually. I like the shape of this one. It's witchy looking, you know? I like witchy looking bottles. Um, oh, there's something in here. What we got? Oh, wow. That is beautiful. Love this. Absolutely beautiful. Kind of looks like the green man. And it's like a resin, maybe? Thin, but it is very cute. I've never seen that. Definitely different. Very nice. Something you can put on your altar, just as a little decoration. Add it to anything, I'm sure. Another item. We have, this is this the type of uh, smudge stick it is. It makes a big mess. Because it's so dry, it just like breaks apart. It's a tough one for me. Um, but you gotta be very careful when using this. It's the cedar smudge. See how it just constantly, just constantly falls apart. It, like I said, it's very hard. I don't even know how they keep it in this form that long. 
but cedar smudge. I like to throw these right into a fire. So I'm just gonna roll that back up because there's a lot of loose cedar in here. Okay. We have two more items, I think. Okay, yes. We have candle. Oh, ooh, this smells so good. Ostara. Cute. They're usually loaded, yeah. Loaded with different crystals on top. These burn really nice. And usually, oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Oh, that's definitely, definitely spring. This reminds me of Hyacinthian. Spring flowers. Mmm. And on top it has amethyst, quartz, aquamarine, and citrine. And, yep, aquamarine, amethyst, rose quartz, and citrines. Very pretty. And... So let me put this on this side so I don't screw up my sides here. So you got the candle on that side, you got the oil, you got the crystal and the little green man, you got the, the cedar, put that over there. And then we got something in this, looks like a food container, but I'm sure it's not food. Watch this, it's a goddess maybe? My goddess. Spring goddess. Very nice. I don't have this one. I'm very excited. I like it. Very cool. Absolutely. Very nice. Alright. So. My thoughts on the boxes together. I think it's perfectly fine. Uh, I got a lot of items. I don't think we've lost anything. We've saved on the shipping instead of shipping two boxes. So um, savings is always good. So I don't see so far anything taken away from the value or product. And you save on the paper, which is also good. Okay. So we've got a beautiful month of Merging Life picture. Then it has about March, Moon, Aries, Ostara, Spells and Rituals, Book of Contents, Box of Contents, sorry, a message from SNS Academy, and a word from Spiral Rain. It's always full of lots of info. So I'm just going to um, pull the clip off. Cute little, oh, it's a moon and star clip. I love that. That's awesome. So I can just show you the pages and we can flip two together. So we can, so I can show you. If you want, you can. Hold on it and look at the, in detail later. First day of spring is one of the things. We got page seven, we got a pretty pictures. We have March full moon. Looks like you have a full moon uh, tarot spread as well. What you wanna release. Spells and rituals. Your info on the zodiac. Part one and part two. Ooh, very pretty. Aries. Everything about Aries. I mean, the detail in this is amazing. A lot of time and effort goes into this. So that alone is priceless. Then it says if you're born in March and Bo, my daughter is. So this is going to be great for her. Ostara. All the some info on that. And then we have the correspondences. More correspondences. 
recipes. Love that. And then we have outdoor activities. This is the time starting to plant some seeds. You can start in the house. Coloring eggs. Let's see. I mean, as you can see, this is full of wonderful info. Money magic. Mm, full, these are full. This one's financial manifestation spell. We all can use a little of that right now. More spells. And then I think we're going into finally the items in the box. Big information on the Ostar oil. And I believe that's the witch side, so we're going to start there. Um. Moonstone is in here as well. The affirmation has an affirmation as well for the Ostor oil. Um, the ingredients, which uh, are fractionated coconut oil, pure essential oils of chamomile, violet, rose, jasmine, lavender, geranium, lang lang, ginger, and moonstone chips. And the moonstone in there is obviously for new beginnings. And it's Suzy Emotional's Emotional instability and stress. So we have that. Like I said, I love this witchy looking cool black bottle. Oh, and the value on this is on here too. Uh, Fifteen seventy US dollars. Okay, so we went over there. The next thing in this is the affirmation of star candle. Um, there's also an affirmation with this as well. Um, and we already went over what was in this. Oh, but this doesn't, I told you the stones down here didn't tell you what the scent is. The handmade wax is soy, scented with lilac, ja jasmine, violet, rose, and garnished with the amethyst, aquamarine, citrine, and rose quartz. That smells amazing. And the value of that is eleven seventy four U.S. dollars. Then it goes into the cedar smudge and the little green man guy. The cedar smudge is a value of four seventy one. Um, cedar is traditional herb using for smudging. Cedar wands are used in rituals, ceremonies, magic, and simply just for the aroma. Cedar cedar is good for protection, purification, healing, and prosperity. Um, attracting good and getting rid of negativity. It's also known for money, cleansing, strength, and wisdom. Um, and then they have the Primavera go Green, oh, I'm sorry, it's not the Green Man, it's a Green Goddess. Where are you, my little Green Goddess? You in there somewhere. Ah, here you are. Goddess of the Greens and Mother of Rebirth, representing the cycle of growth in each spring. She's known for birth, rebirth, fertility, nurturing, and guidance through all the stages of life from spring into winter. Green Goddess Altar Plaque was made by my father and is a great addition to your altar to celebrate spring in Ostara or display anywhere in your home. I love it. I knew it was unique. I love it. Uh, thank your father for making this. This is so Cool. I love it. I truly hope you find a place in your home. Each plaque takes 45 minutes to make. My dad wanted the goddess to look like she was coming out of the tree trunk. It is absolutely gorgeous. With different, coming out of the tree trunk with different age rings found inside each tree. Wow, that is awesome. They only valued this at $3.93. Um, the value of this, considering it was handcrafted, it's 
absolutely unique. You could at least do $5.99, at least, for US dollars on that. Maybe even $6.99, honestly. That is awesome. So. Okay. Ah. Then, the Spring Goddess statue. Um, Spring Goddess carries a message when the woman will access their unique essence and get together. They will have the power to transform the world. This goddess is five and point five inches tall and two point inches, two point five inches wide. Um, this spiral is a sacred symbol, obviously. The spiral is an ancient symbol of evolution, one of the oldest pagan symbols in existence. It represents the cycle of seasons and the cycles of life, growth, and change. Although each loop of the spiral brings us back to the same place, it takes us to a higher and more evolved level at each turn. Because of the connection with the mother goddess, the spiral is very feminine symbol, representing, representing not only the women, but also a variety of things traditionally associated with women. Besides life cycles, fertility, and childbirth, the spiral can reference intuition and other more internal concepts associated with women. Very beautiful. Uh, $21 in U.S. $21.98 U.S. dollars. Beautiful. Um, I think that was it. Oh, no. Could we also got this beautiful stone, which I don't, did I miss it? Ah, I did. Rabbit totem stone is a value of 785. Uh, Caller of fear, positive attitude, and grounding symbol. Traditionally, rabbits are associated with fertility, sentiment, desire, and protection. Um, I'm wondering if it tells you what kind of stone this is. Um, I don't say it, but it goes into the information about the rabbit. But that told you the price. So the value... Of uh, that box, this box is absolutely awesome. Um, for that, which is side, and then we're gonna go into the apothecary's eye, which is the birch, which we have here. Um, the jasmine. So and these are big, bigger than the other ones we've had. So the birch. Magical uses are associated with purification, protection, and exorcism. It represents renewal, rebirth, and beginnings. Uh, as it's the first tree after winter to come into leaf. Awesome little note to know. Um, the value is $7.07. .07. Jasmine. Value is $8.64. Um, jasmine symbolizes purity and grace. The flower blooms, it blooms in the evening, leading the colorful nickname for jasmine, such as Queen is the Night and Moonlight on the Grove. It's excellent for divination. So we have that. Okay, so we have that. We have the other one. Oh, the primrose. Another big jar, value of $12.56. Um, they are many sorts of primrose in the world, coming in all shapes, colors, and forms. Um, from the common and original English cowslip, yellow and green hose, showy, specimens, evening primrose. Um, magical uses are, it's native to Ireland and Britain and closely related to fairy lore and love. The primrose is associated with the goddess Freya and Aphrodite and Venus are very similar. Goddess of sexual power and love, femininity, 
femininity and beauty. Indeed, they owned their sexual power and knew their sacredness of motherhood and their female cycle. Interestingly as well, the primrose has five petals which correlate with the pentacle symbol and also a symbol associated with Venus, female power, and sexual sexuality. These flowers significantly the transition of seasons. That's the value of 1256. Then we have the dandelion, which I'm not sure if it tells us what, if it's the leaf or the root. Dandelions are commonly weeds all over the world with varieties native to Asia, Europe, and North America. Leaves are long and deeply segregated forms. All right. Magic use of dandelion is masculine and an action associated with the planet Jupiter and the element of air. Uh, magical uses. Also associated with the deity Hecate. Bridget and Bellinus. Tea and the flowers and leaves may be drunk to increase psychic ability, while pouring boiling water over the bowlful of fruits will aid in calling in spirits. Make a wish and blow the seeds off of a dandelion head. I used to do that when I was a little kid. Love that, making a wish. Um, I'm going to peek in this to see if it's... It says leaves... This is saying, so it's not the root. These are dandelion leaves, but I'm going to open it so I can show you guys. Um, value is 393. Yeah, I might have the root here too. No, I think it's just the leaves. So that's the dandelion. So it's the leaf. Okay, really good. And then we have a couple more items in there. So we have that, that. We have. Oops. Then we had the Abundance Wish Stone. Doesn't say what stone it is either. You can say it's great to also carry around as a worry stone. It's the value of 785. And then we got. That one's showing you a black egg, but I got this one, so maybe there's different ones. Stone egg symbolizes new beginnings, fertility, rebirth. Imported from Pakistan, these solid marble and onyx eggs. Oh, this is stand for the egg. Uh, each comes with a matching stand. So you can hold your egg. Instead of rolling all over your altar, I love it. I thought it was a candle holder or an incense burner, but I was wrong. And it, ooh, I don't want to drop the egg, but obviously on a stable table, it would hold it very nicely. Very cool. Um, all right, so that there's different kinds. There's black zebra marble, which I would love that one. Fossil marble or rainbow onyx and red marble. So I think I got the fossil marble. I'm guessing this looks like the fossil marble. But there's three. Uh, there's the rainbow onyx, which is, sounds cool. This black zebra marble, which sounds cool, and the red marble. This that one looks really awesome. I would love the black one. I'd rather have black than that one. But. That one was picked for me, so that's meant for me. It's a value of only $12 for the egg in the stand. I would definitely give that a higher retail value, even in the United States. I would go $15, $16 at least. So that's a great price for that. And then we have our oil, tea tree, which is great for a lot of things. So let's see why they have it in here. First aid, of course. Uh, the magical uses are here are used for cleansing and protection, using for warding off demons and disease, and can be used for he healing rituals. Um, oh, and also a room aroma in a sick room. So if someone's sick or needs decongestive, this is a really good way to clear energy blockages. So I guess maybe you can put this in a um, uh, thinking of those burners. 
You can put them in that. Um, yeah, the scent is very strong and pungent. Absolutely. Uh, the value is seven eighty five on that. So yeah, I definitely see the value. I love it. I love everything that I got in this box, both sides. And there's a couple more things here. We got this picture. Um, some mantras. I like that. Some information about things that they got going on near them. It looks like pictures of the box. And then it says, do you know that they make four different boxes a month? And they go over each box. Um, tells you about the color, co um, the cover artwork and who made it. Tells you how you want to win a free box, what you can do to do that. So there's lots of fun things to do. Um, sustaining hope. Mountain Rescue, they do a lot of donating, which is wonderful. Um, so absolutely, and then we have this beautiful mantra. Um, I absolutely love the idea of that the two boxes that I purchased are in one less paper. Like that as well. I love all the information I got. I love everything. I think it's great. No value. I was just worried when she said the boxes were going to put together that you would lose some items or value. Even though you're saving some money on the shipping and stuff like that. You, you don't. It's absolutely amazing. Um, this is the first time I'm receiving this this way. So, I mean, I hope it stays that way. Like consistent. And if it does, absolutely. This is 100%. I love it. So... Thanks, guys, for watching. I will leave you the information about this box on the bottom, as always. Now, remember, with this box also, everybody says, oh, it's expensive. It's really it's really not. Um, they show you it in Canadian dollars, and they also break it down in American dollars. Now, Canadian dollars are a lot more money than, obviously, U.S. dollars. So, when it breaks down out of my account, it really for is not expensive. I, I don't feel it is. I mean, for me, I, I think it's just as, as the same price as like maybe the Witch's Moon or the Sacred Space Crate. Um, and you get even, I guess, a little bit more, I think. Um, especially with all the information, that alone is priceless. But like I said, I guess it may be the shipping prices are expensive if it goes to different spots. But I didn't think this shipping was expensive either, but I'll definitely double look into that, but I really don't think it's crazy. So I will leave you the price that I pay, the full retail price that I pay for these boxes. Um, so you know exactly what, what it is, but I, I think I, I think I do. I, I don't think the shipping is like, crazy. I know they gave the shipping prices also in Canadian dollars so you have to break down to you, that to US dollars. Maybe that's where the mix-up is coming in. I don't know. But like again, I will leave the information at the bottom. Um, until next time guys, be safe. Bye.